and I don't know shit about this, so I'm going to be very, very quiet. Uh, but yes, Star Wars, Rogue One, holy yes! fucking yes! 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 The Force is with my boner right now, Nick. It's it's um, not only... It... Yeah, that girl just stopped right now. She was like, um, what? <laughs> she just, she she's just was amazed like, how erected is. That's it. She was like, I don't date Native Americans. <laughs> no, she's probably no, like, Wait, that's Americans not how it goes. Exist, it's, I don't date black people, Anthony. You heard it before, be honest. Uh, uh, hey, hey, I got a white girl to laugh at one of my jokes when I was down. Oh, she wants to fuck you then. She was laughing. <laughs> I know. Was she breathing right, as well? Uh, Holy shit. The, the best way to get inside a girl's heart is to make her laugh. Isn't that right? Ganja, first off, man, what do you feel about this trailer? Like, I mean, yeah, dude, I know you're talking about dick hard and everything, but like, seriously, like, what, what do you feel? I, I'm about to pull an Ian, dude. Dude, dude. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, man, uh, but, dude, man, dude, for, Corey, man, dude. For oh people, god. like that's the thing. Uh, for context, uh, there was this guy, a uh, reviewer on the Double Toasted side that the main site that we, we pretty much belong to and uh they're talking about the new reaction trailer and this guy comes up critic you know huge movie enthusiast just goes on just rocks back and forth dude oh man <laughs> oh man dude but and to go back to your point nick i just can't wait for the new star wars film because i like that this is going to be gritty and i like the dirty vibe they actually have going here because i don't know if you noticed they don't have those star wars high colors that you usually got from george lucas where everything looked like it was candy coated and shit yeah <laughs> and I just think that gives the world such a more realistic look, especially on the spaceships and just the, the machines. And just the weaponry alone, man. Like, those blasters look amazing. The thing that frustrates me, too, though, is just, like, the fact, like, okay, it's greedy and everything, but yet you still got shit like this. Like, uh, the Star Troopers or whatever. Or, or, is that what they're Storm called? Troopers. Storm Troopers. Storm Troopers? Storm, yeah, Storm Troopers. By the way, where are they called Storm Troopers? Like, I think Star uh, Troopers a reference to uh, German uh, fighters in World War One. Oh, okay. And, yeah. Hmm. All right. No, history. Well, history and Star Wars, Nick, for yes. Yeah. The two most boring fucking things on the earth. That's great. Good combination. How about some shit? And I love them all. Wow. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, man, I'm just joking. I, I, I'm not going to be that neutral. I, I think my biggest thing I'm excited for, Nick, is possibly that they're not going to have any Force characters. And I love that just to see regular people fighting the war rather than someone pull a lightsaber out their ass somewhere. But you know the Force well, is going to be in the gonna have not Star Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, to some degree, but it might not be the main focus is what he's getting at. Yeah, but, like, we're not going to see people throw stuff or catch, like, bolts of laser beams and shit like that. Like, I just want a war film based in Star Wars. True. And it, it seems like it's giving that feeling, like, because um, I seen the trailer long before, because um, I had recently went to the movies to see Doctor Strange, which was fucking amazing, by the way. No, yeah. but, um, yeah, they are um, having that feel. Like, when I watched it in the theaters, it did have, like, that feel of, holy shit, like, um, this line that he said, of, like, one of the uh, the platoon members, he was like, dude, make 10 feel like 100. And it seems like the odds are stacked against these guys, but they really, really have to, you know, go against the grain and go against like all these um guards and actually get these plans plus it's also ad adding the um, emotional dynamic because it seems like uh the main protagonist her father is involved with creating the goddamn um death star mm -hmm. so that seems like that's gonna have like add a whole nother level um layer to the story but um ruthless you wanted to say something i'm not saying you're saying there's no fourth characters except for vader yeah. the most obvious like force user in the entire movie yeah but i hope they keep him like like, I kind of hope they do him like they did in Star Wars uh, Rebels, where when they actually did fight him, it was like a quick three-minute to four-minute thing. But the whole time they did fight him, like, it just showed how powerful he was and how the main characters have no chance to beat him. And it's just a, ch a, just a runaway or a chase scene with the Force being used. That's what I hope. Yeah, no, like, um, I want this threat. Like, when Vader pops up, it's not just like, holy shit, like, oh, this is cool. It's like... Man, like this is fucking terrifying right now. <laughs> like he's literally about to kill everybody on I'm screen. I'm about to figure it out. You want to hear my dream fantasy of how they show Darth Vader? What? Oh, like I, I honestly don't want them to show him. I just want to hear like the main character like running through like one of those stairways they have, those real dark stairways. By the whole time she's running, you just hear his the mask in the background. Shh, shh. Uh -huh. And while she's yeah. running, just stuff starts flying at her. Like the ship just starts ripping apart. Like beams start falling off, trying to hit her, and I, that's what I want. I want him to be like a menacing force wielding so character that hear, doesn't. Uh, have to you just want to hear him breathe back and forth. Like basically, but I, I like, want him to be like a monster, man. Almost from the yeah. Resident Evil yeah. game, basically. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah the, way, the way you're explaining, I'm thinking like him, like in the background, like just masturbating, like just. <gasps> <laughs> hey, <man. laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> you don't know, man. Fuck with people, probably gets him off. He's probably doing that at the same time with his left hand. <laughs> with the force too. Where we can jerk off with just your brain, like that'd be fucking awesome. Dude. I've tried, Nick. It hurts. 
Um, cool. Like, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really, really I got nothing. No, but um, no. have you thought anything about like this whole Rogue One? Like, for one, have you seen the trailer, the uh, the Star Wars Rogue, Rogue One where the fuck trailer? Um, the newest one. Did the new one yeah. drop or is this is the? This is the newest one. I, I guess it dropped like four days ago or yeah. something, right, guys? Or... Yeah, yeah, it dropped recently. Okay, I. Have... To try to keep up with everything because my life's been crazy, but um, I don't know if you've seen this new new trailer, but I've been trying to keep up with it, and I'm am really excited to go see this movie. Um, I do hope it is like a grittier version. Um, I don't, but still fits in the Star Wars universe. I just I don't know. I hope it's good. I just really want it to be good. Yeah. <laughs> and it might be. I mean, like I said, I mean, th- this is I don't give a shit about Star Wars. Force Awakens kind of sold me. I still haven't seen it though, but like I wanted to see it, which is kind of surprising. Um. <laughs> But, like, this one, man, I'm like, holy shit, like, yeah. to see Darth Vader back in a modern type of, like, fucking way, <laughs> like, that's kind of uh, cool. Because back then, dude, I watched New Hope, and that fight scene with Vader was the silliest shit I've ever saw. I'm sorry. It was, it was okay. It was just kind of yeah. like, ding, ding, it's over. It was like... Yeah, I kind of agree yeah. universally that first movie, the fighting, wasn't all that great. <laughs> yeah. That, well, it was the first movie. That yeah. movie, too, it still pisses me off, because it just, that fight scene just stands out. Like, I mean, in the prequels, granted, you know, the prequels... But oh, even okay. later on in the series, you see him cut off hands and arms and shit. I mean, even in the first scene in the movie, but then when he fights Obi Wan, he just fucking vanishes. I'm just like, what the heck? Uh, that scene just annoys the hell out of me. Uh, that's what happens. Jedi die. Yeah, but like, the main thing too is like you get this whole build up for for something like that. Like, I mean, only wrestling fans will get this, but it's like the movie equivalent to like Hulk Hogan versus Andre Giant, uh, Andre the Giant. It's just kind of like it's so old, but. You know, I've seen old shit that's good too, so I can't just say, "Oh, it's old," and like that's yeah. it. Like, Why you know, do I get this a visual right, of like the moment, not necessarily about the actual thing true. that happens? Why do I get like this picture in my head of Luke Skywalker slamming Darth Vader and shit? Is that how a New Hope ended? Oh, not a New Hope. Uh... Return, Return of the Jedi, yeah. Return of the Jedi. And I mean, yeah. I know it was a big moment for people too, but that whole like, it's not true, like. I laughed my ass off, and like maybe it's because I'm just not into it or something. But that I don't know how you can watch that and not laugh. That was the first hilarious. big plot. That was the first big plot twist in a Hollywood movie, man. Like most of the cast didn't actually know that line was coming up. Or oh, yeah. it wasn't. Um, and Ali, I want to get to your point of views because like you're the biggest Star Wars fan here. We have yet to ask your opinion. Yeah. But um, <laughs> I want to say that was Mark Hamill's like second role. Like he wasn't like a big actor at the time. Yeah. Yeah, so he was like kind of fresh. Enough, funny thing enough is that his first voice, like voice uh, acting role, was actually in Empire Strikes Back. You remember oh. when uh, on Hoth and all of the ships are preparing for battle against the Empire, and it says like the first fleet is away. That was him. Mm-hmm. No, no. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so that's cool. Like they're transporting people out of the base station. Yeah, that was him. That was his first ever voice acting role. Hmm. Wow, I actually did not know that. I mean, I, mm-hmm. apparently no one did because everyone's all quiet. But like, yeah, I, <laughs> I didn't like trivia a little bit, <laughs> yeah. a little bit. Hey, like I said, she's the biggest Star Wars fan here. Of course, she would know. Mm-hmm. That. Yeah. Yeah. I, when and it comes cool. to Rogue, yeah, when it comes to Rogue One, I'm excited for it for one reason and three words: Donnie fucking Yen. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, who yeah, is that? Uh, he's the I guess he's the blind guy with the staff. Mm-hmm. And he's kind of the older guy, and he, I, like, I watched so many of his fucking action movies. I just wanted to see beat the shit out of all these fucking stormtroopers with nothing but a fucking piece of wood, man. Dude, it's gonna that be was awesome. my favorite part in the new trailer when they're showing him fighting all the stormtroopers, and his buddy comes out and just blasts the rest of them. He's like, "Man, you almost hit me." <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen the trailer because it's like I- I'm already sold. Donnie Yen's in it. I didn't. I'll watch fucking anything with him. <laughs> hopefully, they actually use him, unlike in Force Awakens when they had the guys from the raid and didn't uh, use him. I was so upset about that. I'm like, oh man, it's gonna be some cool fight scene. Guys in the raids, they just get fucking murdered. I'm like, come on. Hey, yeah. that was a cool fight scene. Han Solo punched him and threw him. No, no, that was, no, a, that scene, that was dudes, a chase scene. Those dudes are like, like behind this like new renaissance of like creating better fight scenes, and then you just mm-hmm. relegate them to that. But like I said, they're gonna have um, something else with um, Donnie Yen because I've watched IP Man and IP yeah, Man Two was mad, but I watched the first IP Man and I'm just like. I'm in love with that goddamn movie. I like Psycho the sequel. I pretty so. freely. Yeah, same. Wait, what the <laughs> fuck, you man? <laughs> I feel like you said, uh, uh, "Yeah, yeah, I totally agree, man." That fucking, <laughs> you fucking stupid dude. <laughs> Where's my L? I'm fucking uh, grabbing yeah, his yeah, L. Yeah, man. Give him the L, man. I tried man. to help you out, Ant. That's it, man. He's earned that shit. He has earned yeah. that shit.